I have a new wiggle for you today. Get those fingers ready. It's called this little rain, this little wind. This little wind blows silver rain and this little wind blows snow. This little wind sings a whistle tune and this little wind blows moan and moans. But this little wind rocks baby bird tenderly to and fro. So hold your child, just rock them. Make sure you're using a really gentle voice too. It's such a soothing little rhyme. Let's do the toesies. Ideally, you wanna do one hand, the other hand, and then the uh, one of the toes. So get those toesies ready. And you can do it with their socks on, that's okay. Just grab the toe and wiggle it. This little wind blows silver rain, and this little wind blows snow. This little wind sings a whistle tune, and this little wind moans low. But this little wind rocks baby bird tenderly to and fro. Give him a big squeeze at the end. Good, good job. Okay, with your child sitting um, in front of you, uh, on your knee or on the floor in front of you, you're gonna take their feet and we're just going to tap them together. Let's tap our feet together. Let's tap our feet together. Let's tap our feet together. We'll all be happy today. Let's clap our hands together. Let's clap our hands together. Let's clap our hands together. We'll all be happy today. We'll wiggle our fingers together. We'll wiggle our fingers together. We'll wiggle our fingers together. We'll all be happy today. Let's nod our head together. Let's nod our head together. Let's nod our head together. We'll all be happy today. Good job. Now there's lots of actions you can add to that. So be creative, grown-ups. Think of other movements you can do, especially if you're standing up with your older one and two-year-old. Uh, you can march around the room. You can jump up and down. Be creative and think of lots of things. All right. There is a special friend coming today. And you know him. You've seen him before. Oh, it's Mr. Squirrel. I think this is like his third appearance. He's really happy today. Oh, and you know what, Mr. Squirrel? I didn't forget something this time. If you tuned in with us last week, I forgot something that squirrels love. No, I'm not gonna tell you. You should know, you should remember. I brought your nuts. <laughs> I think he's going nuts. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, okay. Well, you know, how about you eat those afterwards and we'll do our song first. Oh, don't be sad, come on. It'll taste so good later, right? You bet, okay. So with your child on your lap, let's give them a bounce, bounce. Or if they're standing in front of you, pick them up and bounce them. Let those sock feet or bare feet tap on the floor really firmly. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum. Do you like that, don't you? Hop, old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Hop, old squirrel, idle dum. D. Okay, Mr. Squirrel's gonna watch for a second because I need my hands. You know what squirrels like to do? They like to dig in the ground for food. That means nuts. So let's dig in the ground. Let's pretend we're making a hole. Dig old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Dig old squirrel, idle dum dee. Dig old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Dig old squirrel, idle dum dee. Good. You know what else squirrels like to do? Stomp their feet. So let's stand up. Stomp old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Stomp old squirrel, idle dum dee. Stomp old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Stomp old squirrel, idle dum dee. And clap old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Clap old squirrel, idle dum dee. Clap old squirrel, idle dum, idle dum. Clap old squirrel, idle dum dee. 
Are you ready, squirrels? We're going to run, no squirrel, idle them, idle them. Run, no squirrel, idle them, D. Run, no squirrel, idle them, idle them. Run, no squirrel, idle them, D. Woo! There again, you can think of lots of other actions. They can gallop. We know squirrels don't gallop. But <laughs> let your child help you figure out what other movements can you do? What other sounds can you make? Okay. I've got my ball today. I have a new ball game to show you. And I'm gonna ask that my friend Drew just roll it back to me, okay? So uh, you don't, uh, just watch this today. And when you have a chance, go grab a ball. You can do this with uh, your, other family members, you can do it with three, four people, or just the two of you. Ball games are so much fun. Roll that round ball down to town. 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 Now, if there's three or four of you or more playing this game, you want to Maybe call their name so that all the children hear their name. Roll that ball to Drew. Roll that ball to Kathy. Roll that ball to Andy. Roll that ball to Kathy. So you can roll a ball to different people, use their name, and uh, that's just a lot of fun. Simple little game. The kids just love it. Okay. It's movement time, and what we're going to do right now, if you happen to have a scarf, even little towels work, this is going to be some free movement. Usually I have fast music with a steady beat where we march around and tap and do different activities. This one, I want the children just to hear the beautiful piano. This is a piano sound. And I'm gonna do whatever movements I want, and I want you to feel free uh, to do whatever movements with your child. And if they're older and they're doing uh, movement on their own, give them something, even if it's a, a puppet or a doll or a stuffed animal, or <laughs> like I say, a towel, or if you've got scarves. Uh, and let them just explore. So creative expression. This is a piece by a composer named Beethoven. And it's so soothing. creative expression and exploration. Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra, who is going to play her clarinet and tell you a little bit about her instrument. Her name is Jill, and she's our principal clarinetist. That means when there's clarinet solos in any of the music that we're playing, Jill gets to play them, and she's very good. I played an orchestra with her for, oh, a few decades, let's say. <laughs> So here is my friend Jill to tell you about her instrument, the clarinet. Hi, little musician friends. My name is Jill, and I play the clarinet in the Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra. This instrument is a long wooden black stick 
with lots of silver keys and buttons that my fingers get to move. I also blow into it, much like you blow it out your birthday candles. I blow into it like this. And then when my fingers move on the buttons and the keys, I get to play different notes and songs. Those are kind of low notes to our ears, but I could also do that up high. fingers were moving and that's what was making the different notes like a lot of the other instruments you're learning about. Now I'm going to play you a song that my friend and I put together. He played the piano part at his house and I'm playing the clarinet part at my house and we're putting it together as a special treat for you. I bet it's a song most of you have heard sometime maybe when you're going to sleep at night. I hope you enjoy it. before we do our last squirrel song. Oh, I know you're happy. You don't have to tell me. I would give him his special nuts to eat. Oh yeah. Do you like pistachio? He'd rather be an acorn, but you know, acorns are hard to find in the snow. Okay, you have your fill, Mr. Squirrel. And you can watch us do this next activity. Parents and grownups, you can hide your child's eyes and do a peep like this or do it to yourself. Your child, <laughs> they love, as simple as that is, they love this game. So, you know, the, the peekaboo, what's the first thing we do when they're so little and they start responding to us? Peekaboo, peekaboo. So uh, here's a little peep game. Peep, squirrel, peep, squirrel, doodle, diddle, um, doodle, diddle, um, peep. Squirrel, peep, squirrel, doodle, diddle, um, day. Peep, squirrel, peep, squirrel, doodle, diddle, um, doodle, diddle, um, peep. Squirrel, peep, squirrel, doodle, diddle, um, day. Hi, <laughs> good. That could be used in the bathtub time, putting the cloth over their head and eyes, lifting it up. You could use it during um, diaper changing time where you have something, uh, maybe even the clean diaper, <laughs> and put it over their eyes and pull it off of them. For the slightly older ones, they love to pull it down. So make the words fit when they pull it down. Go, peep, squirrel. So again, a lot of ways you can make that work for your situation with your child. And I just want to remind you, I know I said this probably in the very first session, music and bonding with your child through music and these types of folk songs and old songs that are passed down, just the most, it, it's one of the best things you can do with your child. Shows them love, unconditional love, having fun together. Um, hearing your voice, especially when you're putting their name into a song, and just uh, some special cuddle time and fun time together. That's why I love music for early childhood. Okay. Oh, we have another. Oh, I have one thing to tell you about our shaker egg. Um. I know you don't have shaker eggs. You don't have to go out and buy one, 
But I just want to mention that around Easter, or if you happen to have some of those eggs that come in different colors, different sizes, you know, they break apart. Uh, if you can grab a hold of some of those eggs and put things in it like rice, beans, um, you can even put something like cereal or sand. Have louder sounds and softer sounds, even if you want to put something metal in there like paper clips. Um, they all make different shaking sounds. Now what I did with mine is a hot glue doesn't work. So what I did with mine was I just use a really good tacky tape. And um, you can see how, you know, it doesn't look the, the greatest, but who cares, right? It's all about the sound and giving that little one something to shake, shake, shake. When you have different things put inside, you're now talking about maybe a softer sound, a louder sound, especially if you've got little metal things and metal items in there. So a good listening game, plus it's just fun. They just love to shake it. So wanted to share my little egg activity with you. Okay. Get my ball again. This is called Alley Galoo Galee. And it's a circle game, so you can walk around in a circle. Alley Galoo Galoo. Alley Galoo Galee. Alley Galoo Galoo Galee. Whee! You can encourage your child to throw something up and catch it. Alley Galoo Galoo. Let's walk the other way. Alley Galoo Galee. Alley Galoo Galoo Galee. Whee! Got my voice going up high and down low again. All right, if you take your Gus, are you ready to come back? I think he's ready to join us again. You're a little mischief maker, aren't you? He likes it too. Okay, so you're holding your child, whether you're holding them out like this, you're holding them like this. If they're older and they want to walk, leave them walk but we're gonna pick them up at the end and go, whee! See if you can encourage your child to do the same thing with their voice. Here we go, alley galoo galoo, alley galoo galee, alley galoo galoo galee, whee! Good. This time we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna take them down low so our voice will go down low. Alley galoo galoo, alley galoo galee, alley galoo galoo galee, whoa. And leave them sitting on the floor. Okay, good. All right, Gus, you can take a break again. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Together, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your ears, wiggle your ears together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet, stomp your feet together. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet, stomp your feet together. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your belly, wiggle your belly together. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your belly, wiggle your belly together. Remember to keep thinking of lots of different things that you can do to make it different each time you sing. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you had as much fun as I and Squirrel and Gus did. All right, Gus and I are going to have a little conversation after this. <laughs> Just kidding. Have a great week, everybody. Tune in next week for more fun and games and keep singing and dancing. Hi, everyone. Kathy Peroni here, music teacher and musician uh, in the Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra and teacher of the Music Mondays for Littles for the uh, Above and Beyond Children's Museum. I just want to give a huge, huge thank you to Above and Beyond Museum and the Sheboygan Symphony for co-sponsoring 
this music program for babies to two-year-olds and three to five-year-olds. We've been having a great time. If you've been tuning in each Monday, I hope you um, are having a great time and truly understand the importance of music, appropriate music for early childhood. Um, it does amazing things to a child's memory, brain activity, coordination, so many things. And uh, it's all wonderful benefits. We're not looking at making little Mozarts or Beethovens just to enjoy music and to be a happy audience member in the future. And if we're lucky, maybe they'll play an instrument in their future too. Uh, so thank you to both organizations for their help and sponsorship, but a special shout out and thank you to Hyde Music in Appleton and Green Bay for supplying our music kits for the three to five year old program. Um, I know they're having lots of fun with the, with the instruments and with the games and props that were included in it. And uh, thank them so much. You know, programs like this wouldn't be possible without the efforts of our two wonderful community organizations here and Hyde Music who thought it was great to jump on board and help us out. So thank you. Thank you so much for believing in early childhood music and keep tuning into our sessions. Thanks so much.